Well, hello and welcome, people of the internet, to Raven's Watch, an action roguelike that I am very excited to be bringing you guys. This is one of, if not my favorite roguelike that I've played so far. The code for this game was provided by Nacon, so thank you very much. Uh, they provided it so that I could check out the game, and so far I've got about 15 hours into it, and I am loving it every single run that I do. This is a sweet one. Uh, in this one, because it's kind of the first one to do on the channel, I'm going to go over a lot of the features so that way if you guys have never seen this game, you can kind of get into it, get a feel for it, and understand kind of what's going on post this first video. Uh, I'm going to kind of skip over the basics and just kind of do like a, a normal run. Uh, so if you are someone who has already seen it and don't really need the, the basics taught to you, well, you know, maybe still stick around and that way you can kind of teach me something. I'm still learning, of course. And then, of course, if you are a new viewer or just new to the game, you may learn something here and find this is, you know, one of your favorites too. Now, not only did Nacon provide me a key, they also provided one of you a key. Somewhere in this video, I'm going to be hiding a super secret code and whoever finds that code gets a free copy of raven's watch so uh good luck everyone and congratulations to the winner if you do claim the code would you please leave a comment down below that way i can pin it and that way people know that they don't have to go searching for it anymore uh but without further ado Let's go ahead and hop in. Now, what is Raven's Watch? Raven's Watch, as I said, is an action roguelike. It's a timed map-based action roguelike where we're going to be going to different points of interest in order to build our character up further. There are three maps. Each map is 18 minutes. And Ro Rave, uh, Raven's Watch, excuse me, is based on ancient folklore. So a lot of these characters you might be familiar with, some might not. I'm gonna be honest, there are a couple here that I'm not familiar with. Uh, so we do have like Scarlet, who's Little Red Riding Herd. We have the Pied Piper, Beowulf, Aladdin, Sun Wukong, Geppetto, two of which I'm not familiar with. The Snow Queen, I Googled her and I guess there's an ancient folklore literally called the Snow Queen, uh, but I'm not familiar with this character. And then Melus Melusine? I'm not familiar with this character either, uh, but we are going to be starting here with Scarlet today. Now, looking at each different character, each character is their own unique character. They have their own unique talents. They have their own unique abilities. Every character is going to feel completely different. They all have five different abilities. Each character has a trait, which is kind of their signature thing. So Scarlet here transforms during day and night into both a werewolf and then back into a human where her skill set completely changes. For the most part, like all the abilities act in the same way. They just do something a little bit different. Uh, her daggers are very fast attacking. They also build up combo points once we do two attacks in a row. Those combo points can then be spent on her power, which is tied to our trigger, whether you're playing on a PS, PlayStation controller or Xbox controller, or I guess you're playing mouse and keyboard. But uh, So she rushes forward, deals a bunch of damage, and then she spends her combo points to deal extra damage. Can also be used for mobility as well. Her special, which for me is either Y or Triangle if you're playing on PlayStation, drops a big bomb. Now, if you're in that area, it will stun her, but there are different ways that we can either negate the stun or we can just throw it away from us. And every character also has a defense. These are either going to be mobility based or some way to prevent damage. Uh, Scarlet's here is going to turn her invisible and then give her a chance to 100% crit. So she's kind of like a rogue character. And then you have the werewolf who again is kind of the same. The like these two abilities are for the most part the same. We'll see those when we play. His defense is a little bit different. He's a bit more of a tank character. So his defense is gonna increase his attack defense and also give him a bit of life steal. Every character also has two ultimates. The second one you're gonna have to unlock though. I think actually the first one you might have to unlock too, maybe. Um, I don't remember the first one you have to unlock. I know the second one you do. There are also some talents here. So as far as talents go, level one is basically one that you're going to start off with right off the bat. And this one is going to kind of be your uh, build around type thing. So for example, Shadow Strikes here, there's a quest. So you have to do certain requirements in order to get the completion. And then when you complete it, you get a bunch of extra crit damage. So if you're going for like a crit build, you might want to do Shadow Strikes. Um, for example, here, Distant Explosions, your special, which is the bomb, right? And I said that that one stuns you if you get hit by it, now targets a further location. So this is kind of a way that if you want to build around your special doing bomb attacks, you could lob it away from you and not have to worry about getting out of it. All these other talents here, you do have to unlock along the way as you rank up your character. And these are just going to be different things that either enhance your abilities or change them slightly. And then the third, I believe this tier is specifically for ultimates. Uh, I've only unlocked one at the moment and it says ultimate. So that's what I'm assuming. There's also a bunch of different skins. 
Uh, so, the, and they're all tied to different achievements, so you gotta get through those, except for some that are going to be from DLC packs or skin packs, which is what we're playing with, playing the Nightmare skin, because it's the sweetest, red and black is sweet. Uh, so that being said, well, I should probably switch characters, huh? That would be, that would be helpful. Uh, there's also different difficulties. Four different difficulties. We're going to be playing on adventure here just so that way uh, I can kind of talk through the game. And because I haven't defeated <laughs> Twilight difficulty, uh, the feathers there are how many revives you have. Yes, that does seem like a lot of revives. However, you can die a lot. Combat is, you know, it's it can be tough. There are a lot of enemies to fight. Uh, there are also modifiers. So if you want to do a custom run, you can with some uh, different modifiers here. The percentage there is how many points uh, for the score modifier you get. Score modifier has a base number for whatever difficulty you're on, and then you're gonna get a percentage increase based on how many points of interest you complete or how many modifiers you have. That modifier is then going to affect your final score, and your final score is basically just like your experience. Uh, it's going to rank up your hero and then allow you to get more talents and such. So let's go ahead and jump in with Scar Scarlet here. And like I said, there are three maps, and when we jump in, our timer is not going to start ticking down. So while we're in the center area, we can just kind of wander around and take a look at the UI here. So just a quick brief overview of the UI. We have all of our talents and magical objects are going to be over on the left side, basically from that exclamation point up. We have our experience, our level, our health. Uh, down at the bottom, we have our character profile picture that's going to change whether we're human or werewolf. All of our abilities and the keybinds, ultimate is now locked because we don't have it. We have to get to level five first. We have our money, rerolls, revives, and then boss keys. There are optional bosses in each run, and you need to find the key first to unlock the boss. We then have the map. So the map is always the same as uh, in terms of shape. But points of interest are always going to change every different time that you actually come into uh, a run. There's also a day-night timer, and I believe it's uh, three minutes per day and night. So there's three days and three nights per run. 18-minute run, so I'm assuming it's three minutes because then you get three different chunks of six. I haven't actually uh, like figured that out fully myself. So we get to pick our talent. Each talent can come in a different rarity. Unfortunately, we got all commons, so there's nowhere really that we need to kind of like focus our attention on i do like shadow i like shadow strikes and i also like distant explosions i think we're gonna go shadow strikes and just go for a crit build that seems like the most fun to me uh so let's do that but we could pick from any of these four so let's go here now at the start we have sandman sandman's kind of our shop here uh obviously we don't have any money yet but we can take a look gain strength for five minutes we could heal for a hundred percent for 50 50 uh what is this again? I forgot what it's called, but money. I'm just going to call it money. We have a couple different upgrades here. So Queen of Hearts, and these will always change. The shop is never the same. Upgrade two randomly chosen talents. We have upgrade a lower quality talent to legendary and gain a copy of a random magical, epic magical object. So specifically epic, right? Because there, there are different levels to magical objects as well. We also have our map, which we can look around. Um, some of the points of interest are going to be available right at the start. So you can see with these, as you get further away from the spawn point, like out here, you're going to start getting different colors. So there's green, orangish, yellow, and red. The The deeper the color, so green is easier, red is harder, the harder enemies that are going to be around that point of interest. So we have a couple chests here. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is come up to this chest. This is a side quest that we complete. Um, each map has one side quest, and that side quest is going to give us a lot of experience, but also give us... Um, a legendary object guaranteed so what you're gonna see me do a lot is run past a lot of these enemies and just make my way to the points of interest because the points of interest are you know where you get the most experience it's also let's throw a bomb here where you get all your power from And don't mind me while I'm fighting. I might be quiet, just so that way I can focus up. Let's get out of there. Green orbs are health orbs, and we can also do this to get a guaranteed crit there. 
So our dash when we're when we're oh god when we are stealth is a guaranteed crit. There we go. And let's go ahead and open this. We're going to get a magical object. Oh, perfect. After dash, gain 10% crit chance for two seconds. That's like exactly what we want to do. So if we wanted to, we could spend our stars there to re-roll. But uh, Eternal Rose is great. Now, you're going to see all these X5 question marks. Once you get a certain number of either mag of magical objects, um, you get a like bonus ability. Um, I haven't unlocked these yet just because I haven't had five Eternal Roses. So maybe we'll give that a shot this time. Now, across the map, you're going to see a bunch of these stones here. And the stones are basically money. We break them, and we can get a little bit of extra cash. And we are turning into... Okay, so it's not exactly three minutes. But what we can do is, now that we're in this form, we can go ahead and use our defense to get a little bit of lifesteal. Okay, that went completely the wrong direction. I was hoping I was hoping they would drop a little bit of health. Okay, so all these purple points are teleport points. Oh, this is perfect. There's actually uh, full health right here. Okay, this lady with the chain though is a healer, so we're gonna take her out first. And whenever you level up, you also get full health. So these early levels are really nice to just kind of build up really fast. Let's see. So we have defense instantly bestows two combo points to last 20% longer. Special, which is our Y, hits enemies 30% farther. Special can consume a combo point to deal plus 40 damage. That's actually pretty good. It's also our bomb. So it makes it... Okay, so it makes it a little bit harder for... I think I'm still going to take that. Uh, we also have stats down here. I didn't say that while we were uh, in the uh, starting area. So we have our vitality, which increases our health. We have our damage, armor, crit chance, and crit damage. Anytime we get to one of these fountains, we're going to get full health as well as 10 vitality, which is going to increase our max health, which is very nice. And all of these purples, I was in the middle of saying that. Uh, great. We got the hardest one to start with. Uh, these are all teleport, po teleport points, so we can totally just jump around the map wherever we want. As long as we've unlocked the spot... Oh boy, we're getting a little surrounded here. The wolf is definitely, for me, a bit more of my playstyle than Scarlet is. Just because I'm more of the kind of aggressive tank. I like to get in there, take a bit of damage. Okay, so I can't open this because I'm currently in combat. Uh, when you're in combat, and I'm going to pause here just to kind of save some of my time. When you're in combat, you can't interact with any of these objects. The only ones that you kind of can is the the money the money rocks. Um, however, they do get a protective barrier on them, and it makes them harder to, to actually defeat. There we go. Hmm, so we have reduce the salmon's dream shard prices when taking damage to get shield. I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to do a reroll here and see if I... Can, oh, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not. So the reason... Uh, am I? No, let's just reduce Sandman's Dream Shard prices, I think. Yeah, I was going to reroll to try and get a rose, but it's a bit harder to get common items out of yellow chests. So I thought against it. Ah, you hooked me. Crap. Well, that wasn't good. That's okay. We got plenty. We got plenty. Come on now. Let me out. There we go. We'll go ahead and build that up. Get the health. Get out of there. Nice. 
build up our combo points. We can bite him now. So the difference here with a, the uh, wolf is that our bite charges towards the enemy and then does massive damage based on our combo points. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way down. Who, who still wants to fight me? Ah, there we go. No one. So I'm going to travel here. I'm going to go down to that other green chest, see if I can't find another rose. Get our crit chance up. Yeah, I think I was a little bit too aggressive in that last fight. <laughs> I, sh I should have peeled off and pulled out, you know, pulled a couple couple enemies off me. That's fine. I haven't I haven't played this while like trying to commentate on it, so I'm wondering how my brain is gonna function <laughs> like trying to trying to play and do that at the same time. Okay, what do we got here? Attack gains 40% range and deals a bunch of damage. Special no longer affects Scarlet and Bomb explodes as soon as it hits the ground. Ooh, I do like Short Wick a lot. Wide attacks also seems like it would be pretty good for like AoE. Um, let's go ahead and go with wide attacks. Let's get some extra damage there. Do we get another rose? We do have leprechaun coins, so we're going to go for that. That gives us an additional shard of uh, star of fate, as well as gives us dream shards, which is our currency, whenever we get rerolls. So it's basically just a free reroll. Alrighty here. So let's see. So I'm going to go back up here. Now, I don't fully feel ready to do the side quest yet. So what I'm gonna do is explore a little bit back here. Oh, okay, we already found the boss key, which is nice. Now, typically the boss key does spawn close to where the boss actually is. Don't attack me, buddy. There we go, nice, we can get those. So it's likely that the bo boss is somewhere around here. Uh, Like right here, perfect. Okay, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Now, if I could find one, I would love to find a vision tower. Okay, let's go ahead and wait for my cooldowns here. There we go. All right, so we can get back up to full health, get some more vitality, and let's make our way around here. Okay, nice. So I'm actually gonna skip this one because we have a large dream shard pool right up here. It's gonna have a bunch of big ones. Well, hopefully a bunch, now it looks like just one big one. That's fine. Oh, we're in the middle, so we have we have iframes while we transform, which is great. Don't have to worry about that. There we go. Let's get that. Let's pop these. Get a whole bunch of dream shards. Okay, and now let's explore again. Alright, so this is a tumor. Uh, tumors, we could... Basically, you fight them once. It brings you to an arena where you fight uh, a couple different waves of enemies. Oh, we got some dream shards up here. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. Let me just fight these guys first, though. Ah, crap. You got to be stuck in that. Now, tougher enemies 
you'll see a white bar underneath that enemy. Uh, that's basically a poise bar. If you build that up over time, you'll be able to stun the enemy. And then they'll get, uh, you know, like, tuckered out. And they'll also take extra damage. So definitely... Oh, boy. Okay. Actually, I should be focusing on the healers first. There we go. Let's go ahead and build that up. I'm going to pop my defense here. Big bite. Nice big heal. There we go. And now we get a whole bunch of dream shards. So you can see comparing like, you know, green challenges to red. Red is obviously a bunch more difficult. Now, if we had wanted to, we could have... You know, cleared a bunch of the green and then made our make our way up to the red. But I've played enough that I feel fairly confident in just coming up to the red. So defense instantly bestows two. Oh, we already got that. We either get move speed and max health. Um, I don't necessarily think we need that. Let's go ahead and reroll. Oh, OK, so we either have the short wick again or we have maximum combo points increased by two. Power is uh, additional crit chance per combo point. So if you build that up to max, that's an additional 20% crit chance. I think I am going to go with short wick, though. Just because the special recharges faster. And we're going to be building up. I think we're going to have enough crit chance. And I like short wick enough. And at this point, I do want to make sure that I can get the side quest done. So I'm going to go do that. There is a time element to it. Basically, for the little piggy. Yeah, we got to collect, depending depending on which pig you get, either stone, wood, or... Actually, is there even brick? I think it might just be stone or, stone or hay. Oh, we're transforming again. Now we get basically guaranteed crit there once we go invisible. Okay, let's collect a bunch of straw here. So you can see I'm putting the top top right. There is a timer. Usually not much of an issue to get this done in time. Especially since there are those uh, those big chunks of straw that you can pick up. They give you a whole bunch. We got some dream shards along the way. Fantastic. Just to make things quicker, I'm just going to teleport over here. While I'm up here, is there a chest up here? Oh, I already got the chest. Okay. So we can just make our way out of here. No sense in, no sense in fighting those enemies. The faster we get this done, the faster we can do other points of interest. Now, I do wish I got to level 5 first, because then I would have an ultimate, but that's fine. So, straw is the hardest, because we have to defend every side of the house. Basically, there's going to be a bunch of different waves here that we have to defend the house from. There we go. Nice little crit kill there. Don't hit me, buddy. But the, pig, the pig's house has a ton of health. It can get pretty, pretty tight. 
<laughs> depending on uh, how how low your damage is, if you don't have a bunch of skills built up already. We're doing all right, though. Only six more for the quest. Or for the, the crit quest, I should say. Uh, unfortunately, that guy moved away, so it's going to be a bit harder for us to hit both of them. There we go. And this should be the last enemy that we have to fight, I believe. There we go. So we get a bunch of experience here. We get to talk to Piggy. And we get to pick a legendary. I think what I'm going to go with... Oh, Raven Effigy is really good. We could just do this for a little bit more mobility. I do like the Seven League Boots. I like having the additional abilities, too. The only thing that for, for Scarlet specifically, getting extra charges on her power doesn't matter as much. Um, simply because you want to use them when you're close to max combo points. And so if you already have a second charge built up, you're not going to have time. You're not really going to have time to build up another another full combo points before your power would already be off cooldown. So because of that, having the extra special is real nice, but having the power doesn't really do anything. I'm going to take the seven league boots here. We already have the rose, which is going to give us additional crit rate whenever we dash. So having our dash up more often and of course, just for the extra mobility is going to be pretty nice. Now, do I want to go to the wishing well? I think we will go to the Wishing Well. That's another way we can get a Rose. So with the Wishing Well, there are basically three different items that you're going to get from the Wishing Well. You're going to get consumables. One, let me get here and then I can kind of explain it a little bit better. And so that way my timer isn't running out. <laughs> There we go. Still, yeah, there's still someone up here. There we go. Okay, so we put in some Dream Shards and we get an item out. Now, depending on what level the Wishing Well is, is going to determine what your starting kind of item is. Um, Let's see. So here we have consumables. Consumables are kind of like the lowest tier. There's consumables and then you get magic objects, but of different rarities. I think here we're going to go for, well, we're going to go for whetstone for additional damage on our crits. There's only a couple different ways I've found to get crit damage, this being one of them. So I'm going to take the whetstone. Now here we're going to get a common object and there's the eternal rose. Perfect. That's what I wanted to grab. And here we can grab a rare. And here power deals more damage. It's pretty, actually, that's actually pretty pretty good since it also scales off our combo points and is going to get pretty strong so yeah let's let's take this i think and let's -a go exploring all right so we're gonna we're gonna pick up this well here for some more health and there's our fifth level that i know is guaranteed to give us our ultimate ability and I don't have the second one unlocked yet. So our current ultimate, when we're a human, we have two charges that have a big shotgun AOE blast. When we're the werewolf, he basically huffs and puffs and he blows everything down. I shall make good use of it. Perfect. We got more dream shards. We want as much as those as possible. Yeah, so you can see here, because I'm in combat, there's that red aura on the Dream Shards, making it a little bit harder for me to actually pick them up, although not impossible. Now, the bullseye in the middle that I'm kind of avoiding is not an, like an actual point of interest. That is the boss. If I wanted to, we could go there early. You do get uh, a few extra points for doing so, but it's not, like, really worth it. I typically will do it on the last map, just if I'm looking to just finish the run and I feel like I'm strong enough. 
Okay, up here we have a feather. If we wanted to, we could buy another revive. I don't think we're going to need it, though. Got another tumor. Another well, so we'll go ahead and pick that up. And we're going to make our way out here, see what's out in this direction. Oh, what do we got? Okay, we got a grimoire. We can definitely do that. Especially since we still have our ultimate. So for the grimoires, grimoires are basically timed events. We got to kill all the enemies that spawn in order to get the book. If we don't, we just basically waste our time. Oh, and of course, we're transforming literally right now. Gonna be pretty close here. Yep, that's not even close. <laughs> okay, that was pretty bad. Ultimately, like if if I was a wolf, I definitely could have done it. But those shotgun blasts missing, I missed both my shots. That was not good. That was not good. There we go. Big combo hit here. Oh, God, I didn't realize. I completely lost track of time. Yeah, so when the screen turns red like that, we're about to go into a boss fight. All right, so we got to take out these tentacles here. Doing so will then stun the boss, allowing us to do more damage. Go, one more. And there we go. Boss time. So let's build up our combo points first. Multiple shotgun blast. Or actually just one shotgun blast. We only got the one. Oh, of course we're transforming right in the middle. That was awful timing. That's okay. If we're in the werewolf, we'll easily be able to clear it next phase. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, shoot. I should have used my bite. Okay, that that's my bad. That's my bad. I forget that my bite has uh, travel time on it. Alright, well now we can huff and puff and blow him down, and that is the first boss. Couple unfortunate mishaps, but that's nothing to set us back. That's why they give you all the lives. <laughs> if they didn't want you to use them, they wouldn't give them to you. Now, unfortunately, we lost out on the first shot because I was uh, not paying attention. So we could gain a copy of a random, which would only copy our king. We don't have an epic yet. Okay. Okay, we'll keep all that in mind. 
Now, what we can also do here is upgrade our our talents up here. As of this point, I don't really have a reason to. I mean, other than just getting getting more. Honestly, we could just do shadow strikes. Just get a little bit more crit damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that chest. Let's see if we can get another another eternal rose. Now the gameplay here is, is going to be the same. I mean, there's honestly there's obviously going to be different enemies for us to fight, but the idea is the same. We're going to be doing the same thing, same uh, same points of interest here. Oh, and you know what I never realized? Because I've I've literally never had this happen. I didn't realize that you could take one key to the next to the next area. So, like, we already have the boss key for this area, which is good, because this boss is pretty easy to fight. Take this. Won't be seeing your ugly mug anymore. Uh, there's another rose. Sweet. We will take that. And now let's make our way down to the well to get some more health. So at this point, let's make our way. So we're definitely doing the side quest. So we're just gonna, we just gotta hike our way down there. We're just literally gonna cut my way through the map, see what I can find on the way. Like in here, what do we got? We got a chest. Yeah, we'll definitely grab this. Huff and puff, get him dead. And we can turn while we're in the middle of that. Oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. We're going to run really quick. Oh wait, why didn't we get life steal on is it only on our attacks that I get life steal and not on my special? Is that what happened? No, life on hit. So why didn't I gain Oh, attack and power and I use my special. Well frick, man. <laughs> okay. And of course, we missed that. That's a great, great thing to do. That guy out of here. All right, that was way harder than it needed to be. Special deals more damage, which I do like. Dash deals damage to all enemies to pass. I think I might actually take this. Since we want since we already have the dash refresh. Eh. Enemy wants to fight. Not gonna take that. Um okay, I might have to pass up on the Grimoire for right now. Got anything up here? We got more dream shards. Perfect time for a level up, if I don't say so myself. Oh, 
we go. Okay, so attack trigger right after dash triggers a double strike, dealing 400 damage, and generating one combo point. Okay, let's do that since we're dashing a whole bunch. So we kind of have like a, a dash build going. Well, that was the worst time for that. I was literally in the middle of popping my ability. Go. Let's grab that. Keep making our way down. This is, I think, the farthest that I've ever been from the uh, from the side quest. There's nothing up here except for these uh, claw boys, and they're super annoying to fight. Okay. Do I want? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna buy the the feather. I mean, we get score points for it, so why not? I'm not above it. I won't let my pride take over. We get that giant backstab after the dash. Super nice. Okay, and we're going to jump right into the side quest. Uh, I fought the Cyclops so many times. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words, am I right? Go one more. There we go. All right, town time. Special flies vulnerable. Yep, yep, we're doing that. <laughs> when, uh, when a three combo points are above, power trigger special effect upon use dealing forty percent. Yeah, no, we're taking armor break. Excellent. So our bomb and our jump basically now apply vulnerable to enemies, allowing us to deal even more damage, which will be even more better. make our way in. We gotta help out our boy Sinbad. Sinbad's in a bit of a bind. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Get out of there. Holy crap. They do so much damage. God dang, man. It's these knife boys. These knife boys get me in every time. Pick up the health. Alright, now we gotta fight the Cyclops. Let's go.
So, the real attack that we gotta worry about, he's gonna do right at the beginning here, and try and grab us. If he grabs you, it's obviously no good. Uh, he basically takes half your health and heals himself. In the name of the game, oh god! That was very lucky. Yep, the name of the game here is just to stagger him. And then at a certain point, he's going to go and try and grab a bite to eat, uh, as he is now. If he eats, the, basically, we don't want him to eat the third person. The third person is Sinbad. If he dies, then we don't get our reward, and we lose. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. There we go. Okay, we'll talk to Sinbad. We'll get our legendary item. Extra damage for each legendary talent you have. Well, that is really good. And especially with how much Dream Shards we have, I think that's the direction we're going to go. Because we we don't have any damage. Like, we have a bunch of crit, uh, crit damage, but if we're not critting, our damage is kind of garbage. So I'm going to take that. We also have a talent... Special applies Ignite to all enemy hand and gains 50% crit chance. Heck yeah. Okay, so let's take that. Let's go to... Okay, so we're going to come up here. We're going to get the guaranteed... Because isn't there a guaranteed legendary in here? There is. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get this one to legendary. Because I don't want this, since this is only one tier away, I don't want it to target this. So we're going to get that to Legendary, which now gives us 10 extra damage. Get another one, which was nice, was one of the lower ones. We'll also get that up, since it increases our attack damage. Nice, so that gives us 30 extra damage. Right, this is now at 30. Or it increases damage dealt by 30%, I should say. Okay, now I'm uh, confident that I can do the Grimoire, so let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have all this bonus damage. Bonus damage! Okay, well, I'm not the wolf anymore. Less, Slightly less confident. I am more confident in the wolf form. But that's not a big deal. I mean, that's, I mean, massive hits, right? Completely changes. Completely changes. Get me out, get me out. Th oh my god, get me out. Uh, who else is... Stupid spider egg. Alright, Dream Shards, Vitality. We also... We have the Stars of Fate, which we could get. We do have the Leprechaun Coin, which gives us additional... Additional Dream Shards. I mean, it's not as much as this. But it gives us... Yeah, we're gonna... I think we're just gonna take this. I mean, we're getting up to 50 crit chance. Okay, six minutes left. Third of the way done. Got a bunch of extra shards here. Oh, we got a we got a uh, well here, so we're gonna pick that up. 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Nah, we're good, Scarlet. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay, what do we got over here? Ah, we have a vision tower. Okay, so vision towers, which we haven't seen yet. Reveal things on the map. And so we can better target where we want to go. Okay, so where do we want to go in our five minutes? I th what I would like to do is I think make my way down here and then come up here to the healing fountain and wishing well. Try and get another rose out of here. And so I think it might be quicker just to travel down here. What's next? You can also get these shards, which is pretty nice. Come on, stop fighting me. Stop fighting me. Ah, can't lose their aggro. Okay, so it should be, is it this way? Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, let's grab all these. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so I think then, rather than walking the whole way, I think it's probably quicker to come here. And walk over from here. It's, pro it's probably pretty close, to be honest, between the two. We got three and a half minutes. Okay, I'm keeping my eye on the timer this time, so that way we upgrade before going into the boss fight. Clear out these guys out mighty quick. If we get a chance, we can maybe do that other grimoire. I'm just going to get the crit chance here. So there is a leprechaun coin. I think, again, I'm going to go for that rose. There we go. And we already have one Vajra. So let's go for another one. And, yeah, we're going to do that, and then I'm going to run up here to get the Grimoire. Since it's only green, we can definitely do this. Come down here. Just got to make sure to get it done before the time runs out. All right, come on, you stupid birds. There we go. Four time runs out, so that way we can go meet up with Sandman. There we go. Collect this. And what do we got? Crit chance. Stars of Fate. Or crit hits deal more damage. I think I'm just going to take the crit hits. We already have a bunch of crit. Do I have time to grab... Honestly, I think I have plenty of time to grab this healing fountain. So let's do that. Just get some more vitality. 
increase our health pool. Uh, wait, where the frick? Oh, it's like up here. God dang it, man. Of course, this will also give us a chance to uh, find more dream shards. We don't have any epic magical items that we want to copy. Rare, so we could either get the Vajra or the King. I don't really think I care about that. I just want to get to Legendary, since that's going to give me um, extra damage from Excalibur. Probably just want to increase armor break, because that way enemies are vulnerable for longer. Yes, this is a most fitting choice. We just don't have enough to get it up, though. See if we can't find a few extra dream shards around here. Oh, we got another chest here. Okay, let's grab that. And we should be able to find... This is our best... There's the rose. That's going to be five. Let me go. What's the best place I can find some quick dream shards? Probably around here, because I haven't explored down here yet. Back without a scratch. So that's enough. I just have to get out of aggro. Oh, we're going to be pretty, cutting it pretty close here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. No worries. No worries. We got it. I actually didn't see. What was the bonus we got on, on the rose? Critical heals, hits deal 50 extra, 50% extra damage. <laughs> okay, sure. So this boss is a little bit different, obviously. Where he doesn't have a stagger bar. He's eventually going to summon these uh oh we're transforming okay oh god he goes the other way these little these little things with with eyes oh are you spinning yeah these things and we just got to kill all these and then we'll stun them oh oh get out of there get out of there i didn't have my dash there And where's the last one? There we go. That stuns him. He's vulnerable. We ult. He dies. Boom. Easy. That one, I think, is actually the easiest boss of the three. At least for me. For me, it goes 2, 1, 3. All right, so Sandman, what you got for us? Strength. Okay, we get a free legendary. Well, not a free legendary, but... Reduces defense, cooldown. Upgrade two randomly different randomly chosen talents. So with this, what I'm likely going to do is get to a point where I have two epics waiting to get to legendary, right? Because they cost 144. And if I only have two left, then I can get 180 and upgrade them both. 
getting a copy of a rare one star fate strength. Okay. And then what do we got on the map? So we do have an optional boss that I'm probably going to do. I didn't do the other optional boss. I didn't even find it, actually. This one is is fairly easy to get through. We have some crystals down here. The side quests we're 100% doing. So I'm going to go get these crystals first, make my way up here, and then go from there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to save that. So that way if we need a full heal. Because it's right next to a spawn point. Or to a, uh, a teleport point. Okay, what do we get here? Defense. Uh, no, we've seen that a couple times. Power trigger special effect. When at three combo points are above power, triggers special effect. What does that mean? So power triggers this effect. So does it just do it? Um... Sure, let's see what it does. I, I don't think I've taken that one before, so I probably just unlocked it. Or does it just mean that they become... Oh, it drops a bomb in the back. Okay, I got it. So then... So, okay, so now we have another way to apply vulnerable. Okay, so this one I'm going to grab. And I don't really care about taking damage since I'm just going to heal right back up. Okay. Anything else exciting down here? We got a chest. That's pretty exciting. Just two wolf cubs playing. Just two wolf cubs playing. So we could reduce costs more. Sure, let's do that. Because we want to get stuff up to legendary for more damage. Okay, sometimes... Okay, I was going to say sometimes there's a uh, healing well over there. Yeah, I can't go that way. This is one of the areas for the, the side quest. So this side quest has two different parts. And so we got to do the first part. Help out Morgana. Or I guess technically Morgan in this game. And then uh, we gotta got to defeat uh, someone who you might know. Someone who might be a little bit familiar. Ah, dang brat, she cursed me. So that last talent we took is pretty good. Do we want to increase our... I think we just want to increase our attack.
All right, so we got three tougher enemies in here. I think that all three of these can heal themselves. Well, that was obnoxious. Oh, God, get out of there. Yeah, so that guy just kind of sucks your health away. I think probably I just have to get farther away. These guys are really obnoxious. There we go. Give him a little combo kill. Okay, so we can leave here. Ultimate gains 30% range, deals 20% damage, and applies ignite upon hit. Well, that's not bad. So Morgan's just gonna kind of talk. We can kind of we can just leave and we can go. Oh, wait, it's right here. Oh no, she's still talking. Okay, let's go ahead and take this. We'll also grab this. We gotta wait for her to leave and figure out where it is we need to go next. Ah, uh, it's to the area that I, I said that we couldn't go. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. All right. Now, you might not know off the name of Morgan, but I kind of let it slide that she's actually a Morgana. That might give you a hint as to who we got to fight here. Alright, let's go, Arthur, buddy. Oh, that was stupid. I just quickly dashed and was not thinking. All right. Arthur goes down. Easy enough, huh? Yeah, so basically you got to protect the tree, but if you got enough damage, you can kind of just forget that the tree's even there. Let's see. So vitality up. Ultimate gains an extra charge. I think we're just going to reroll these. Dash heals 50% of the damage taken. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the heal on the dash. We're dashing so much. Now, obviously, he doesn't heal us when we just randomly dash. So, I think we're going to do the boss. I, th I just want to double check, see if there's some uh, some health up here. we got to come up this way anyway. Okay, we got a chest. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Let's build up our combo points. Ow. Okay, that was all, oh, that was a lot of hits there. That that hurt quite a bit. Oh, crap. I don't have my ult. I thought I had an ult. God dang, man. I missed. Okay, that was just stupid of me. There you go. Man, that was way too much stuff to, to risk getting this. Well, there's another king. We could take that. Dash gains an extra charge. Sure. Just dash a whole bunch. Alright, let's go do this boss fight. Especially now that I'm in wolf form. Like I said, I'm way more comfortable fighting wolf form. Come on. Get the frick away from me. Seriously? Like, who? Oh, my God. Oh, 
Okay, now we finally get to use that boss key that we found so long ago. Ooh, okay, so cursed items. We haven't seen these yet. Uh, so cursed items, obviously, are going to potentially give you a really big benefit at potentially a negative. Special deals 100% extra damage, but has 50% increased cooldown. I don't think that I want that. Taking damage earns 10% of their value as dream shards. Honestly, I should probably take that. I'm taking so much damage here. Uh, you know what? Let's take the Bobby Agus Mortar. Let's play it safe here. We can go ahead and now we can pick up that heal that we wanted. Actually, while we're down here, we can upgrade some of these. So let's take faster recharge. Indeed. I admire your bold thinking. Let's get those up. Don't aggro me, bro. Thank you. Okay, let's see if there's anything in this back corner. Uh, is there anything up here? Well, there's more healing. We'll take that. Or at least more health. Grab all the dream shards we can at this point. Is there anything else back here? Ooh, do I feel confident taking that grimoire? I think so. I would say that was easy enough. Crit hits deal more damage, or we can just get our crit chance up. I think I'm just going to deal more damage. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm looking for a Raven Tower. We do technically have one. Kind of, right? We have the, the Baba Yaga. Not quite the same, though. I already got that. I already got the dream shards. Oh, there's dream shards here. Perfect. So if I can find a vi like a vision tower, would be great. Here it comes. I am the danger. Some of the time. I think that perfect. Okay, we'll take that. Unfortunately, that is a lot of our dream shards, though. Okay, we got another tumor. Don't care about that. 
What do we got in the middle of the map here? Anything? Nice. Bunch of dream shards. We love it. Looks like we got everything there. Uh, since we have another teleport point up here, I'm gonna go buy a few more, a few more skills. See if we can't get our damage up. The action? So basically, what I want to do is I want to get to. Let's see. So if I spend a hundred, well, I can't spend 180. Because basically, what I would, uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough what I was thinking is I want to get this one to legendary if I pump these up that's another let's see 180 actually 190 that's what 223 20 yeah there's no way that that's happening okay let's go let's go over here actually found the other large dream shard which is pretty convenient it's kind of like exactly what I was looking for okay let's go down here now I think now if you want to when basically when you're done if you have nothing left to do you can spend your extra dream shards at if you have the um, if you've already bought the feather. You can spend them for extra experience, which will give you more more vitality if you want it. We're not going to be doing that though. Get out of my face. Vitality, damage, dream shards. Let's get the dream shards. Let's head back here. Let's see if I have enough or I need to hunt down some more. So what I want to do is do this and this. So if I get one of these up, now we have 221. So we couldn't do this if it was two, right? So all of these, two of these would be 260. So we can do this. Which is 160. Gets us two legendaries. So, now I just want to hunt some dream shards. Where's the best place to do it? Probably around here. Or actually, it could be up here. Let's do that. There might also be a healing well up there as well. Like that. We get a few more there. getting quite a few more we might be able to get everything up to legendary and just like really increase our damage okay so we're not doing the well Let's 
grab the health. Grab all the dream shards. We're at, we're at 159. Not as high as I would like to be. We need to get up to, what, 260? To max everything out? Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we can go behind where the boss is. Actually, I might just might as well just fight these guys. Just for the extra experience, try and get up to level 13. I actually don't know. Yeah, it doesn't even look like they can spawn up there. So let's go explore around the tumor. Almost there. You can get one more. Watch out. There's more where that came from. Thirty seconds. I don't want to get into a fight if I can help it. Come on, there's got to be one over here. Perfect. It won't be long now. All right. Ah, uh, it's not enough for two. All right, we can get one more. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the extra crit chance. Man, we were just short of getting all of them to legendary. That's all right. We'll live. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Alright, now this boss I find the hardest because there are two of them. Uh, we have to stagger them both at the same time and we have to kill them in the same phase. So we really need to kind of try and stagger them when they're close to each other. Oh, and of course we're transforming literally right now. Uh, wait, did we? Oh, no, man, we almost one tapped him. Wait, which one is this? Oh, it's this one. There we go. Okay, well, I made all that big deal for nothing. <laughs> I guess when you have crazy crit chance, and actually, we stacked our damage there at the end, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah, the crit build is fun. Like, uh, I probably should have focused on my damage maybe a little bit more at the start. Um, there were a couple of things we could have done differently. Obviously, I could have played a, a lot better. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where, like, I don't have any kind of pride where it's like, oh, you used all your feathers, you suck. It's like, I beat the run. <laughs> like, they give you the feathers for a reason, right? So you might as well use them. So here at the end, basically, you get a base score for whatever your difficulty was. And then you get all these different multipliers. So the multipliers are based off the things you do. So obviously victory is going to give you a big chunk. Whatever whatever level you got to, that'll give you a multiplier. And then the side quests, basically after victory, side quests actually, surprisingly, can give you a much bigger multiplier than victory. Um, and then you get like fives for every other kind of point of interest that you completed. Optional bosses also give you some. That'll give you your score. And then your score will get tacked on your rank. And then as you rank up, you'll unlock new things. So, for example, we unlock the new, ta new talent. Grandmother's Souvenir. Oh, so this is, an, this is a new ultimate. So we have Create an Ash Cloud that makes any hero with it, within it intangible, which is basically invulnerable. And then eat the closest non-boss enemy, instantly killing it. I actually don't know that I like that one more. But anyway. Oh, we also got Bone Cracker, which Ash Cloud deals. Yeah, okay, so that last tier, that third tier that we looked at the beginning, I believe those are all just ultimate-based talents. 
Wolf devouring enemy causes it to explode, dealing 40, 120 area damage. Well, I guess if you're if you're killing non-boss enemies, that's actually not bad, I guess, because you can instantly kill, like, for example, all those knights that were, like, healing and, like, sucking us and weakening us. You could auto-kill them. I don't know. I still feel like I like the AoE ultimate better. I feel like ultimates are just, like, big old AoE bombs, which is why I like them. Because otherwise, like, this isn't very good for bosses. So I don't know. And then there's also lore stuff. So if you're interested in lore, basically to unlock the character's story, you need to keep ranking up. We're not going to listen to that. That's for you guys to do. But that's it. That's the run. And as far as meta progression goes, that's really it. There's no meta progression in terms of, like, you know, leveling up different attack damage, uh, you know, XP gain, crit chance, all that kind of stuff. The only meta progression is for skins and for getting additional talents, right? So as far as builds go, uh, you know, like my, my Scarlet is never going to be the best she can until we unlock some of these, assuming that they're, you know, assuming they're good, um, which I would assume they are since they're high up. But we also have like reload and pack leader here at rank nine. So we got a ways to go, you know, a couple unlocks at seven, a couple at eight, nine. And I think nine is the max that we can get to. I would assume it is because that's the final thing we can get. So, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging out with me, checking out this video for Raven's Watch. If you did like the content and you'd like to see some more, either let me know in the comments or if you would kindly smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more roguelite action. I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.